so we can get rid of these two. And we're just selecting polygons that we're going to remove from the armor. Uh, this kind of right here can go. Now to make sure that I've selected uh, the right stuff and I haven't selected something accidental, I'm also going to go to the outside and make sure that nothing on the out par outer part of the armor got selected when I was doing this. Uh, and I can also uh, right click uh, or left click on hidden line and select realistic and kind of get a better idea of what's getting removed. Is this going to hurt the appearance of the armor? Remember the UMP body is all going to be there now. Doesn't look to me like that part that I have selected is necessary. All right, so I went in uh, using the element tool, selected all the parts that I thought, you know, I can get rid of this stuff. It's not necessary, not anymore. Uh, selected it all using, you know, holding down the control key and clicking on each uh, element with hidden line enabled. Uh, uh, and once you're, you know, happy with uh, what you've selected and you think, okay, I can delete this, not going to hurt anything, just go ahead and press the delete key. Now it's gone. So that, uh, that's not, not, not going to be a problem. You can see straight through. That's a really good thing. And it's also good to go up here, you know, aim yourself underneath at the bottom of the armor, go to realistic, uh, left click on that and then select hidden line because sometimes there may be something in there that you can't see with hidden line not selected. Make sure there's nothing in there. Now we could go even more in depth, zoom in and select all these individual little polygons because they're not necessary. They're inside the armor. They're part of that we, what we deleted. But for now, you know, if you want to, you know, you can uh, for the purpose of this tutorial since it's just a simple, uh, simple basics that we're learning here. I'm not going to deal with that. I'm just going to leave those there. Uh, okay, now I'm going to click on hidden line it again with the left mouse button and click realistic. And we're going to see how this looks. I'm going to right click anywhere in the perspective window and I'm going to click on unhide all. There we go. There's our UMP model again. Remember it's still frozen so we can't export it like this. Uh, we kind of, since we remove things, we want to zoom in uh, near the area that we removed and we kind of want to look. Yeah, it's pretty far away now. That's not going to look very realistic in game. So before we do anything, we want to move this hip area closer to the body since we deleted portions of the mesh itself. So now we got to move it closer because we've deleted portions of the mesh. So the best way I found to get closer to the body from the front and the back points, so I'm going to select uh, here in the left view pane and I'm going to uh, use my scroll reel to zoom in, use my middle mouse button to move it where I want it. And now I can see, if you look real close, there's the grayer area. Uh, that is, uh, that's the UMP model. And then we have the white area, which is the selected armor. Uh, to move this, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the selection, and we're going to select vertex. All right. Anytime you want to move the armor closer to the body, vertices usually the way to go. All right. Now, where I want to move it is kind of closer near the uh, area right here because that's right in this area. If you look, you got to kind of eye it and see where you're at. And you want to just left click, uh, you know, off to the side, drag your mouse over, select, uh, you know, a good portion of it, and then release. Just, you know, kind of keep your selection of the vertices central to the area that you want to move in. I'm going to go over here and use soft selection. By checking on that so when I move it it moves more fluently. Uh, seven. Now this is a large portion of the body so we're going to set this to 10 uh, so it moves more so it looks more fluent and I'm going to right click in the left view pane and select scale. All right. Now I'm going to use the scale tool on the X modifier. If you look real close above the my mouse there's an X there. This is the X plane and we're going to scale it in. Let's see it moves on that plane. We're just moving it closer. Now look real close right here. It's starting to clip through the body. It's best to go ahead and let it clip just a little bit so you can get the rest of them closer and then we're going to move it out from the body after we've clipped a little bit into the body. So that's pretty good right there. Now I'm going to right click in the perspective window, uh, right click again and select the move. I'm going to click so I deselect everything, click off into the gray and move your little cubicle to get close to it, zoom in with your middle mouse button and select something that you can see. I can see this vertice 
and on the X, Y axis, I'm going to move this out so it's no longer clipping. You see how I did that? Very simple. I just moved the vertice that was running into the uh, body out until there was nothing running into the body. Uh, scale around. Usually what's happening on one side is happening on the other, so I have to do it on the other side. Ah, uh, see? Right here the body is clipping through the armor. I see this vertice here, easy to access on the X and Y plane. I'm going to left click that, hold down the left click, and move it out just a little bit. Just enough to where it's not clipping anymore. There we go. Now it's a little closer to the body. Um, could probably be a little closer in the back here if you look there. Sometimes you have to uh, individually move it. You know? Oh look, see? In the back, since we moved all those vertices, now it's clipping down here. It's an easy fix. Uh, the way I would do it, uh, you could select individual vertices just like we did by the hip and move them out. Or to get more accurate, you could say, okay, that's where, where is it? I can select the vertice here where I see the problem, then I can look in my left view pane. Uh, and I can say, okay, well, that's about where it is, so I'm going to unclick from that, and I'm going to kind of use my little uh, you know, selection tool by clicking off to the side and then dragging it over just enough to get those vertices selected. See, I kind of have that whole little area selected. So now I can go ahead and select the X and watch what happens. I just kind of move it out. There we go. Problem solved. Now the armor fits a little better. You know, and you can toy with this method throughout the entirety of the body, but just stick to the basics now. Stick to what we're doing. Get the hips a little closer. And uh, you know, when you get uh, comfortable with that, you can begin moving more things closer like the skirt uh, which, let's go ahead and move this skirt a little closer while we're at it. We'll go down here in the left view pane, because remember we're moving uh, something from the front and the back. We want it both closer, so we're going to go down uh, to the left view pane, because it's easier to make sure we get a proper selection. I'm going to select everything down here, near the bottom of the armor, just by left clicking, dragging my selection tool over till it has all of them, and get them all. Now remember what we used before, we used the scale tool to move closer. So I'm going to right click, select scale, hover over the X, and kind of move it in. You know, just enough to where it's moved closer. Alright, once I'm comfortable with that, hmm, you know, it kind of now it bulges a little bit. So let's select these where it's bulging, and we can move those in too. Now it's not bulging anymore, see? a little closer to the body, it's not bulging anymore. Uh, we still have it out enough to where we're not going to get clipping in the waist area. So if you move too close in this area here, you're going to get some major problems uh, with this type of armor. So you want to leave kind of a hump uh, out from them anytime you have to focus on that area with something like a, like a skirt. Uh, that's what you're going to want to do. So now we're closer to the body there. Uh, what else can we do to make it a little more refined and sexy? You know, by the boobs, that could be moved in a little closer because you can kind of see a gap here. Let me zoom in. You can see what I'm talking about. See this gap? Uh, it wouldn't sit like that realistically. It would sit closer to the body. So uh, there's a couple different ways you can handle this. You can handle it individually by selecting a vertice close to that area on the XY plane and just kind of moving it in. That's one way to handle it. But you see what's going to happen here? You're going to clip. If that happens and you're doing it with this method, all you have to do to fix it is go to where it's clipping, select the vertice really close to that, and move it out. Okay? It's just like clay, you know, you move one part and you gotta fix another part. But in doing so, now we're still closer. Because I moved it closer than where it clipped, I moved it away by selecting a vertice close to where it clipped. That's just the whole process. Very simple process. Uh, to get your armors to look more refined, more sexy, closer to the body. And I'm just going to do it on this side too, kind of get it closer. Uh, see it's clipping down here, so I select the vertice close to where it's clipping, move it out, and there we go. It's a lot closer to the body, a lot more form-fitting, which is what you want. You want your armor to be form-fitting. And uh, the waist. Can we get closer on the waist? Well, the best way to check the waist is go to your front view pane. Use your middle mouse button to move it up and down. And then scroll wheel to get closer. Hmm, that's pretty close. If I move in closer, I may have problems. I could probably take the hip right here, farthest away point, 
and uh, you know select some vertices in here by dragging across all of them. Uh, it's selecting a lot. Maybe we should drop this fall off down. Let's take it down to, I don't know, how about a th three? Let's see what a three looks like. Yeah, three is pretty central to that area of the fall off. And then I'm going to right click here, click scale on the X plane, and I'm move it in a little bit, you know, just to make it a little bit uh, more form fitting. Doesn't look like anything clipped when I did that. You can move around the armor to kind of double check. Looks good. Uh, another thing I can do is if you look right here, I seem to have some room in the back to move it closer. So yeah, see it kind of sticks out a little bit from the body. So I have a little room that I can make it form fit behind the character. So I would go to my left view pane, use the middle mouse button to move it around, kind of zoom in as close as I can to that back part, and then I could just, you know, left click anywhere, drag out, get one of those vertices that's right close to that area, select move, but it's not really selecting enough, it's just moving too small of an area, so maybe I'll take my fall off and move it up to a 5. And that looks a little better. It's selecting more vertices. And I can just drag that in a little bit. See now I'm form fitting a little more. Not too far, it's gonna look weird. All right, there we go. That's a little more form fitting. Uh, now once you're done, you know, forming your armor a little closer to the character by moving these vertices around, you wanna zoom out uh, in your perspective, deselect the vertex, deselect the armor, and just kind of move around it. Make sure nothing is clipping through. You don't have any white uh, from the UMP body where there should not be white. If you're happy with it, it looks you know fairly straightforward. Nothing's clipping through. Nothing's all messed up anywhere. It looks good. Uh, once you're happy with it, you're going to right click anywhere on the screen and select unfreeze all. Now once you've done that, you want to select the armor. Because we've deleted portions of the armor, if we were to export it now, it would crash 3ds Max. Uh, because there's a BS dismember skin modifier and a skin that are no longer accurate. All right, so we, because we've moved vertices, so the vertices are not assigned correctly, and we've also screwed up the BS dismember skin modifier by deleting portions of this mesh object. Anytime you delete something from a mesh, you have to re-dismember it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the, re uh, the BS dismember skin modifier. We're going to select delete. And we're also going to right click on the skin modifier and we're going to select delete. Uh, on editable mesh, with editable mesh selected, you're going to use the drop down window. You're going to scroll down, you're going to select smooth. Uh, with smooth selected, remember we always select two, so I'm going to click on two. Now with smooth still selected, I'm going to use the modifier list, drop it down, and I'm going to scroll down till I get to skin wrap. So we want to wrap the uh, wrapper back onto the tootsie roll. Uh, so here's the deformation engine. Remember we set this to face, uh, and we want to check weight all points. With that selected, uh, we want to add it. So by uh, clicking Add, and then check on the UMP uh, body. Give it a second. And now once it's done, and there's nothing going on down here in the lower left-hand corner, go ahead and click Convert to Skin. Now it's converted to skin. We no longer need the skin wrap because we have the product of the skin wrap, the skin. Right-click on Skin Wrap and select Delete. Now that the skin wrap is gone, we're going to select the skin. And we're going to select uh, from the drop down list the BS Dismember Skin Modifier. Scroll all the way out, drag with a left click and hold, select all of the armor. Then in the body part, we want to drop that down and select Skyrim Torso 1. Now we're good. We can export this, but remember we don't want to click anywhere or we screw it up. So we got to reselect it all. Make sure it's all red, and then go up here and just click Create to get off of it so you don't mess that up.